we are going to be getting creative with nature in our own backyard. But first, I'm gonna to read to you Leaf Man. And while this book has an autumn feel, I want you to imagine what it would be like if the setting were spring. Here we go. Leaf Man by Lois Ellert. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east, past the chickens, toward the marsh, over the ducks and geese. A leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash, and flew over the turkey, past potatoes, carrots, and cabbages in rows. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west, above the orchards? or over the prairie meadows and past spotted cows. Well, leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze or flying along the river, following butterflies going south. Well, leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He might even be traveling north above leaves that look like him, or flying over mountains with a flock of birds. When Leaf Man looks down on earth, is he lonesome for a home? This I do know, where a Leaf Man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a Leaf Man waiting to go home with you. Did you notice that Leaf Man and all of the other creatures in this story were made from leaves and found objects in nature? Before we get started with our project, I wanna tell you about an artist who uses nature as his canvas on a very large scale and in a way perhaps that no one else has thought of. Andy Goldsworthy is a British artist born in 1956. He is part of a movement called land art, art that is created out in nature inspired by nature and using only natural materials. His land art sculptures are intentionally temporary and left in their environment. Notice his use of color, lines, and shapes as he uses his natural materials. Photographs capture the beauty of Goldsworthy's art long after it is gone. When I make something in a field, street, or altering the landscape, he says, it may vanish, but it's part of the history of those places. Now let's get started with our project. All you need, a basket. Let's go outside. For this project, you'll need to collect items out in nature. Maybe leaves, sticks, rocks, flower petals. If not in your own backyard, then maybe on a short hike. Before you pick anything off a live plant, however, please do ask a parent. And now, the project. Your goal is to create your own nature art inspired by Leaf Man or Andy Goldsworthy out of the objects that you found outside. Find a great space to work where things won't blow away. Maybe you will make a design or maybe you will make a creature, imaginary or real. That's up to you. One of the many great things about working with natural found objects is the ability to rearrange and play with them, noticing color combinations or unusual lines or shapes that go together in an interesting way. Take your time and have fun with it. This artist began to explore symmetry in his nature art as he created his creature. Our other artist went for a more organic shape that of a bird. Add as much detail as you would like to make your creature special and your own. Maybe you have a story in your mind about the creature you have made. This artist called his creature 
a water warrior. Our other artist stuck with more realistic creatures, in this case, a fish. She thought a lot about the background and chose this blue bench so it would look like the fish was swimming in water. Whatever you decide to make, be sure to take a picture of it, because like Leaf Man and like the art of Andy Goldsworthy, this nature art is temporary. We'd love to see your photos. I hope you had a great time doing nature art with us today. We certainly did.